Hey there, thanks for watching today. I have my empties to share with you and I'm gonna just jump in and get started. This is the Trader Joe's All-in-One Facial Cleanser. It's a cleanser exfoliant, it's tearless. 8.45 ounce, retails for $5.99 at Trader Joe's. I really like this. I did throw the pump out, so I just have the bottle here. I've repurchased it several times. I feel like it does remove my makeup um, and also like any dirt or oil that uh, accumulates by the end of the day. I feel like it does remove that, but sometimes I will have to go back in with a little cotton round or some toner to get off any excess makeup, so it's not the best at like removing everything, so I prefer to use this in the morning, but I really like it and I already have a backup of it. The Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. There are 25 towelettes in this little package, and I enjoy these quite a bit. They're very soft. They remove most of my face makeup. I don't use it around my eyes. I use a separate eye makeup remover, but I feel like these are very soft and they do a really good job removing my uh, foundation, blush, bronzer, and it's a great first step for me before washing my face and I would repurchase these again. This is the Aura Kasha Warming Balsam Fur Aromatherapy Bubble Bath. And when it was full, it was like this bright orange color, which was very interesting because they don't use any synthetic colors. But this was a really fun bubble bath. There was a blend of balsam fir, eucalyptus, and juniper berry. It was an aromatherapy product, so it wasn't that synthetic kind of smell to it. Uh, there are no synthetic colors or fragrances, sodium laurel sulfate free. It smelled kind of on the woodsy side with the balsam fir, but it was really a good product. I really enjoyed this little eye makeup remover from Lancome. It's the Bifacial Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This is a little sample, 1.7 fluid ounces, but a full size is 4.2 ounce. Retails for $30, and then the super large size is 6.7 ounce for $39. I think it would be worth it to buy like the super large size because you're getting two, almost over two ounces and it's only $9 more. Every time I try a sample of this, I like it more and more, and I think the only thing I don't like about it is the top. It's not very good for traveling. I feel like I always have to keep it upright because I'm afraid it's gonna spill, and I have had it spill on me traveling before, so I don't travel with this, even though it's a small size. But I love how it removes my makeup. It doesn't feel super oily on my eyes, but it definitely really does a good job removing waterproof eye makeup, especially mascara. So I really like this, and I would consider purchasing a full size even at that price. I always say that, but then I try to find less expensive alternatives because I'm like, oh my gosh, 30 or $39 is expensive for an eye makeup remover, but it is a really good product. I'm on my last little sliver of this soap. It's the Shea Moisture Lavender and Wild Orchid Shea Butter Soap. It has calendula flower in it, and I bought it at TJ Maxx for $2.99, oh gosh, over, over six months ago. Um, it is a hefty bar, it is large, it's eight ounces. I think I saw it somewhere for like $4.99. I'm not sure if it was like at a grocery store or something, but I know you can purchase it and it's not super expensive. It lasts a really long time if you keep it dry, just don't have it sitting um, like in a tub of water, it'll start disintegrating. But when I kept it dry, it's lasted a really long time. It is a more natural scent. It smells really good, but it's a more natural scent. It doesn't have like a fake um, like lavender scent or orchid scent to it. It smells pleasant, it smells nice. There's no parabens, no phthalates, no paraffin, no gluten, no propylene glycol, mineral oil, or synthetic fragrance, no PABA, synthetic color, no DEA, sulfates, and they don't animal test. So that's a little bit about this product, $2.99 TJ Maxx, and I've enjoyed it. And it's lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. This is the Fresh Soy Cleanser, and this is a sample size of it. It's 0.6 fluid ounce. A full size is 5.1 ounce and retails for $38. There are no parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. It's very gentle, it's non-stripping, and it has kind of almost a cucumber or melon scent to it. I don't think this is a good cleanser for me at nighttime. I feel like when I'm getting off my makeup, this is not, it doesn't do enough for me. But in the morning time, I can use this and it feels I like my skin feels fresh afterwards, but it doesn't feel like really stripped or really dry, but this is just not enough for me um, in the nighttime to remove my makeup. It's just not foaming, it's just, I feel like I just put a gel on my face and rinse it off. But I don't think I'd purchase a full size for $38, but it was fun to test out and try. This next product I wanted to mention really fast, it's not completely used up, but I know in the next couple of weeks it's probably going to break completely. It's the Real Techniques Miracle Sculpting Sponge for $5.99. I did receive this for free from Octoly though. 
And it's a latex-free sponge, very similar to the Beauty Blender, but this one has kind of an interesting shape to it. Two of the sides are flat, which they claim is really good for applying the product. And then the round portion, so you have a flat side here and a flat side here, you um, apply it. And then the round portion, you're supposed to kind of buff out the product. It's used for cream product or liquid uh, foundation, which is what I used it for. They say that the smaller side is for highlight and the larger side is for contour. I didn't do that. I just use it um, for all over usage, but I definitely prefer this shape over this, and this is the Beauty Blender. I like the consistency of this Real Techniques one, and this is the first time I've used the Real Techniques blending sponge. My big problem with it, though, it's, it's already breaking, and I'll try to zoom in so that you can see that, but that's really disappointing because I've only had this for about two weeks, and I wash it the same way that I wash my Beauty Blender, and my Beauty Blender lasts quite a bit longer. Um, but I really do enjoy like the feeling and the texture of it, and it's nice when I apply my foundation, but I'm a little concerned it's already breaking and it hasn't even been a month. And it says that you can use it for one to three months and it's already breaking, so that's kind of a bummer. And I'm not super rough when I like wash my sponges or my brushes, so that's something definitely to consider if you're looking at the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Sculpting Sponge. I know they have another shaped sponge, it's like that orange one. Be interested to try that one out too. The Dove Advanced Care 24 Hour Deodorant and Antiperspirant 2.6 ounce retails for $4.40 at Walmart. I've used this about maybe 10 or 12 times and it's full. I just don't like this at all. I just saved it for special occasions because I don't use antiperspirant often at all. I just like to use deodorant and this was a deodorant antiperspirant that I kept for special occasions, like if I was going out um, for a fancy dinner with my husband or visiting with his coworkers or somewhere where I felt like I needed antiperspirant, I would reach for this and use this, but it does not smell, it doesn't mix well at all with my body chemistry. Smelling it just in the bottle, I'm like, oh, it smells really good. But when I put it on and if I sweat for a little bit, it just, it smells worse than when I just use an Old Spice deodorant, like just a deodorant, not antiperspirant. It smells worse, so I'm definitely gonna toss this out. I don't like it at all. This next product is a full size of the Belief the True Cream Aqua Balm. This is 1.6 fluid ounce, retails for $38. I did get this in a set during the VIB sale last year. It's a great cream, it's lightweight, it's almost like a gel hybrid type feel to it. I didn't notice any like breakouts when I was using this. It's made without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates, and I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. I do want to use up some of the other skincare that I have first before repurchasing it, but I really liked it. And going into this new product, it's the Tatcha Balanced Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. This is just a tiny little sample, and I don't always feature the little tiny samples that I use unless I like them or I really don't like them. Like if I have a strong opinion about them and I feel like I have something to share. I've used this about four or five times, which is crazy because there's just a little bit in here. And I didn't want to like it because I knew Tatcha has really nice products, but they're expensive. And when I looked it up, it's 1.7 ounce for $68. So that's kind of a bummer that it's expensive, but it's made without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetic fragrance, or mineral oil. It has these little gold flecks in it, which I believe are actually 23 karat gold in there. And it just livens my face up. It's a nice moisturizer for me. I have uh, oily skin in my T-zone and kind of normal skin on my cheeks. And I, I really liked this a lot and it's hard. It's like, do I want to repurchase the belief or do I want to go out and splurge on the Tatcha? Um, like after I use some of the other skincare I have. I like both of these and I'm kind of almost leaning a little bit more towards the Tatcha, but it's gonna, I'm gonna have to be motivated to spend that much though. This is the EO Body Lotion in French Lavender. Eight ounce retails for $5.99 at Walgreens, which is a really good price for a more natural uh, cream. And I'm not usually a fan of lavender scents, but I like this. It almost had a watery consistency to it, but it left my skin feeling soft and moisturized. I picked up two samples at my local health food store to try of this. Um, they are having like a wellness event, so I picked up two samples and I, I enjoyed this. It's more natural, it's made with mango seed butter, olive wax, organic jojoba oil, a chamomile, vitamin A, vitamin E, and I think it's really nice. The fragrance that they use is essential oil, they don't use synthetic fragrances, and I felt like it, it was a really nice moisturizing cream and really good price for a more natural product. This is the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. I did not like this at all. Uh, 0.058 fluid ounce retails for 5.99. 
no, no, this was not good for me. I didn't like it at all. I tried it for a few months and I feel like I gave it a fair shot. The tip of this is really stiff and I just don't like how it dries down. When I remove it at the end of the day, it gets into these little flaky pieces and it gets all over my face. Uh, it would rip up when I would curl my eyelashes even after setting it with a powder, like after I set my eyeliner with a powder, it was ripping up onto my eyelash curler. And I, I just really didn't like it. It wasn't easy for me to apply or use in any way. So even though it's not completely used up, there's quite a bit left, I'm definitely getting rid of it. This is the Josie Marin Argan Oil. It's Vibrant Sweet Argan Oil Foundation. One ounce retails for $45. And I got this as a promo. I asked for one of the lightest shades and they sent me RG65, which is one of the darkest shades. I was very frustrated with that, but I got I just turned it around and I was able to use this with some of my other foundations and deepen up my foundations, which was perfect because um, in the summer I definitely tan up pretty well. So I used this with my other foundations and I feel like I'm missing it already. I can't really report on how t I would like it if I used it all over my face like a typical foundation though. So I just want to talk a little bit about it. Uh, this is a hydrating foundation and I do have that combination oily skin so I don't know if it would work very well all over my face alone. Uh, it was an Allure Best, Best of Beauty winner for 2016 so a lot of people really enjoyed this. I have a friend though who broke out from using this so I don't know if it would be for everybody um, but I know that a lot of people enjoy it as well. I did notice this summer my skin seemed to be a little bit more reactive, like I was having more bumps, but it could also be because I'm wearing a lot more sunscreen. I'm at the beach quite a bit more than last summer, so that could be it also. We'll see, I guess, um, when I'm not using it and I'm still wearing the sunscreen. We'll see if it's the sunscreen or that foundation, because I know my friend had a problem with it, but there are no parabens and no phthalates, and again, I just would drop, would drop, I would just use a couple of drops in with some of my lighter foundations, and I was, I was able to wear them for the summertime. I have three mascaras to share with you. This is the Dior Show X-Taste Mascara. 0.33 ounce retails for $29.50. This was a gift from Sarah Jones. Very generous, very nice and thoughtful of her to give this to me. I like this mascara. It's one of my favorite higher end mascaras or high end mascaras. I feel like it does a great job with um, extending my lashes, adding length, adding volume, but it was also kind of almost a softer look to my lashes. Some of the drugstore mascaras I really like, I feel like they don't have that kind of soft, romantic effect and I feel like this was able to capture that but then also to have the length and the volume that I like and this is not waterproof um, but I thought it was a really good mascara. It's just hard to justify $30 for a mascara but if I had $30 to spend and someone said you had to get a high-end mascara I would reach for this one. Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara 539 at Walmart. I like this a lot and I definitely would repurchase this and I plan on repurchasing it, but I like to kind of experiment a little bit and try a new mascara. So I have a different mascara right now that I'm using, but I really enjoyed this a lot. I saw length, volume, it held my curl. I feel like my lashes really kind of stood up longer throughout the day than even like the Dior x taste one. I think the having the vo uh, volume, I think having the waterproof formula really helps out a lot with that. But this is hard to remove. I feel like I definitely have to work at it. But for me, it's worth it because my eyelashes are so stick straight. I like having a formula that is going to hold my curls up for my eyelashes and I'll just have to work a little bit harder to remove it. But it's definitely hard to remove. I didn't see flaking, smearing, or transfer, which is great, so I would repurchase this. And then I purchased a Maybelline Volume Express Pumped Up Colossal Waterproof Mascara. I'll insert a picture. I did return it. It's $4.97 at Walmart. Definitely not as good as the falsies for me. Um, the formula was a lot drier on the Pumped Up. I feel like I had to apply several, several coats and I wasn't getting the length or uh, the volume that I got with the falsies. Actually, for a couple of days, I did one on one eye and one on the other eye and I definitely saw the falsies for me was a better better option and I felt like it was really super, super dry. Like I'd take the wand and kind of scrape around and nothing would come out and it was a brand new tube of mascara. I just bought it. So I ended up returning it because I felt like maybe it was a dried out tube or something. I'd never tried it before. So let me know if you've tried that mascara and what you think. This is the Bite Beauty Lipstick Duo in Shiraz and Mulberry. 
and this formula is discontinued. I know they have a new formula out for Bite Beauty, but when I um, had this, this was I think around $12. Mulberry was a really beautiful color, kind of reminded me of MAC Rebel. I don't know if you can see that or not, but a deep berry color. The problem with the formula though is that it would kind of slip around my lips. Even with a lip liner, I felt it was very hard to control. I loved the vibrancy of the color and I liked how the formula was not drying on my lips, but for such a dark color, I felt it was a little bit hard to control with this formula. On the other end was the color Shiraz. It's a very pretty kind of dusty rose with a little hint of brown to it. Um, I thought it was a very pretty color, very easy to wear, very um, like even work appropriate color to wear, but it's no longer available and bite reformulated. So I just wanted to mention it really fast that I did like the older formula and I liked the Shiraz color in this duo. The Lancome Lip Lover Long Wear Lip Gloss in 355. I had to say that a couple of times because I kept stuttering over all those L's. 0.14 ounce retails for $24. This is just a little mini sample and I did a swatch for you so you could see the color. Very youthful, very like made my lips look very fresh and bright and it was a very pretty color. I saw this at Macy's for the full color range. There's only two colors available at Sephora so I don't know what's going on with that but I did get the sample through Sephora a while back. I'm not a fan of this formula. Actually, I have quite a bit of this left. It's very scented. Um, I feel like it kind of slips around my lips. It also kind of smells chemically to me. It's hard to wear without a liner. I just, and when I reach for a gloss, I don't want to have to wear a liner. Like I'll wear a liner with lipstick, but if I have gloss, I just kind of want to throw it on my lips and go and not have to worry about it. One weird thing that I noticed, and I don't know if any of you have noticed this either, who have tried this uh, Lip Lover Long Wear Lip Gloss, I, when I put it on, after about 20 minutes, my lips start feeling numb, and not in a nice, like, pepperminty, tingly way, like the Buxom. It's almost, like, un like weird and uncomfortable, and I, I just did not like this. So. I'm getting rid of this Milk Makeup Gel Brow. This is a sample, and it's not finished yet, but I have a reason why I'm getting rid of it. 0.042 ounce retails for $18. I wanted to like this. I kind of read a little bit about the company and it's an eco-friendly company, cruelty-free, paraben-free, but this made me get zits in my eyebrow. And I tried it out and the first few times I tried it out, I was like, oh, the next day I'd have like a zit in my eyebrow. I'm like, that's weird. So I stopped using it for a few weeks and then I'd use it just to like line the lower part and I didn't see anything. So I'm like, maybe it wasn't that. Well, yesterday I tried it and Today, I have two zits in my eyebrows, no joke. Like one in this eyebrow, one in this eyebrow. And all the other, like for weeks, I wasn't getting any zits in my eyebrows. And I used just this yesterday and quite heavily. I think it might be like a wax or something that's clogging my pores, but bam, two zits, not worth it. I'm gonna get rid of that. One more brow product I used up was the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And this is a little sample that I got. Um, in the mail, but this is a 0 0.01 ounce for a full size is $24. You don't get a lot of product with that. Um, I think that 0 0.01 ounce is not, not that much. This sample was really hard. I had to press firmly when I was using it, really firmly into my brows and like, I, don't, I just didn't like the formula of it very much and I wasn't a fan of the shape either. And not a shape of the packaging, but a shape of the actual uh, pencil. I felt like there was, it's very large and it's hard to be precise. I f feel like with a pencil, I wanna have the precision uh, that I don't get with a powder, so I wouldn't be purchasing this. Last item is a perfume. It's the Miss Dior Eau de Parfume, and one ounce retails for $74. This is just a little uh, promo sample that I got. Good fall scent for me, but it's just a little bit musky for me to spend $74 on it. Uh, the notes are Italian Mandarin Essence, Egyptian Jasmine Absolute, and Indonesian Patchouli Essence. And it does smell really good. I, I did enjoy this quite a bit, but it, it's very expensive. And I feel like for a scent that I would only want to use pretty much in the fall, winter, I would have to be absolutely in love with it. And sometimes I did feel like it was a little bit too heavy for me. I hope you enjoyed this empties video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <music>